Texans fans, welcome into Texans Today. I am Will Scott. Nick Casario has been busy, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down every single move that Houston has made thus far in free agency. They have a lot of cap space to spend, and they're certainly uh, being aggressive here in the first couple of days of free agency. And we've had you covered during this free agency period, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys want more Texans videos, we need more subscribers here on Texans Today. We just recently relaunched our Texans channel here at Chat Sports, so if you want more videos, go down and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications as well so you know when the Texans make a move. Let's take a look at all the moves the Texans have made, and it started before free agency. This was over the weekend, them signing Robert Woods to a two-year $15.25 million deal, veteran wide receiver. You add him to that wide receiver room, and you're going to have a rookie quarterback probably throwing to him. So the more weapons for Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, whoever it is, the better. Scott Quisenberry, your starting center, you bring him back. I would not rule out, though, the Texans signing or drafting another center, uh, improving that offensive line. MJ Stewart, the corner, two-year, six mil. Andrew Beck, this might be one of the more underrated signings, a really good blocking tight end slash fullback. He gets two years, nearly $7 million from the Texans. And he's coming home. He's coming home. Case Keenum back in the age. Houston Cougar legend, his third stint with the Houston Texans. He's going to be the backup quarterback to whoever the rookie quarterback is. Two years, $6.25 million for Keenum. What does this mean for Davis Mills? I'm not really sure at the moment. Chase Winovich, meanwhile, one year, $2.75 year, million, the defensive end. Mike Boone running back, still waiting for the details there. And then Hassan Ridgeway, the former 49ers defensive tackle, one year, $4 million deal. He is reunited with his former defensive coordinator, D'Amico Ryans. Who has been your favorite signing thus far? We just showed you about half the moves the Texans have made. We're going to get into more moves here in a second. But first, I want to hear from you all down in the comments section. What's been your favorite signing thus far? I might have to say Jimmy Ward. Two years, $13 million, the defensive back from San Francisco. So another 49er. That has been reunited here uh, with D'Amico Ryans. He gets a two-year deal, and yeah, he's aging, but he's still a really productive player. Five interceptions the last two seasons for Jimmy Ward. Shaq Mason, meanwhile, uh, he gets uh, traded to Houston. Uh, you needed a left guard. We really knew that coming in. Uh, you don't get one in free agency, but you do get one via trade. Shaq Mason, uh, you give up a six-round pick, but you get a seventh-round pick in that swap with the Bucs. So you basically got Shaq Mason for free, which is awesome because he's really, really good. And he could get extended here. Uh, that's worth monitoring. He just has one year left on his current deal. Noah Brown, wide receiver, one-year deal. Still waiting those full details. And then Derek Rivers, a defensive end, re-signing with Houston on a one-year deal. Let's talk about Robert Woods again. Uh, he was the Titans' leading receiver, even though he had a career low in receiving yards. I just don't think the fit was great in Tennessee. Uh, he didn't really have a quarterback there. He had Tannehill, then Malik Willis. Both of those guys struggled this year, especially Willis. So now he's coming to Houston. I'm uh, not sure who his starting quarterback is going to be. Hopefully Bryce Young. And that's going to be a really big weapon for whoever your rookie quarterback is. Uh, Case Keenum, speaking of quarterbacks, going to be your backup. Uh, was in uh, Buffalo uh, this past year in Cleveland the year before. So he's been around since his last in at Houston about seven or eight years ago. So it's been a while, but it's really good to have Keenum back. In the H, also good to have Jimmy Ward, who had five pass breakups, three interceptions, had had really good numbers. I mean, this is a big loss for San Francisco, losing Jimmy Ward. Uh, he was there a long time. Uh, so Jimmy Ward, uh, the newest member of this Texans defense. Shaq Mason, the newest member of this Texans offensive line, just one sack allowed. Uh, when I saw uh, that he was uh, going to get traded, potentially, I didn't know if it was going to be to Houston because I just thought he was going to get a lot of interest from around the league. And I'm sure he did. So to be able to trade for him, just giving up a six-round pick and giving and getting a seventh-round pick in return is absolutely huge. Shout out Nick Casario, who's doing a great job. Now grade the Texans signings thus far. Type A, B, C, D, or F down in the comment section. It's a solid B plus for me. I, I've been impressed with some of these moves. Love the Shaq Mason trade. Love the Jimmy Ward signing. Love bringing Case Keenum back to Houston. Subscribe. Still, It's still going to get crazy. Trust me, this is just the beginning when you're talking about free agency for the Texans. I expect even more moves in the coming days, so subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop.